It's going to be an early morning for many Dayton families as summer comes to an end and kids head back to school. Tonight, school leaders admit that there will likely be some problems tomorrow in Dayton. They point to changes in the bus route and a lot of more kids will be walking this year. As Jackie Kucha reports, some families may be waiting for the bus that will never come. Perry's enjoying the last splash of summer vacation. It's off to first grade in the morning. I'm working, le ready to learn. Because the six-year-old lives less than a mile and a half to school, he has to get there on his own. Mom isn't happy. I don't think it's right at all. There is no way, like I said, a six-year-old should have to walk that far to get to school. By picking up less kids, Dayton Public School reps hope to alleviate late or sporadic bus service that many families experienced last year. <laughs> DPS call center might help you. Because of the changes, DPS set up a back to school call center and it's busy. School leaders are concerned because this large stack of letters returned to the district are letters that never reached parents. Parents who didn't register a change of address with the district. Parents who may have their kids waiting for a bus that isn't coming. Well, that can be remedied uh, with a visit to the school over the summer, letting us know we've moved. Here is our new address. Jill Moberly says the first week is always a big adjustment, especially this year. So we have new drivers driving new routes, and we do work out those glitches through the first weeks of school. So be patient with us. We are, we are working it out. If parents do have an issue, the district asks that parents call the child's school and let them contact the transportation center. They also ask that parents go over the entire day's routine with their child in the morning. That should help kids like Perry have a great start. Jackie Kutcher, Fox 45 News. So parents, if the bus is running really late or if there's another issue with the bus, call your child's school. The district asks that you do not call the transportation center. And if you have other issues or concerns, you should call the back to school call center at 542-3010. And that brings us to our question of the day. How do you think Dayton Public Schools transportation will fare on the first day of school with all the changes? Let us know your thoughts on fox45now.com under the question of the day or on our Facebook page at facebook.com slash fox45dayton. Well, some of are hopeful the changes will bring change, while others aren't so optimistic. Sandy writes, I'm really hoping all goes well tomorrow. We will have a different driver this year. While Jasmine says, I have no faith in DPS transportation and feel sorry for those who depend on it. I guess the thinking was if they shorten the list of kids to pick up, then there'll be fewer calls when the kids don't get picked up.